Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Mustafa and this is WP360. Today we're going to take a look at another uh, easy yet very useful uh, WordPress plugin. It's called WPSVG Icons. So you can see here I, I search the, the plugin and then it appears. Uh, let's take a look at more details. So basically this plugin is a pack of icons that you can uh, add to your page. Now you guys know uh, icons are becoming more and more popular with all this uh, mobile friendly uh, websites. So this plugin will uh, be really really handy. So installing it, it's really easy. You just install and activate, uh, nothing new right there. And to use it, there are two ways. The first way is to go at uh, the, that sidebar, and then you can basically pick anything you want, and then it will generate a shortcut that you can paste. Now, one, one thing to mention is those are the sizes for that uh, icon. H1 is the biggest one that's available for the free version because I'm going to show you guys the free version there are paid version that you can customize every single icon you can change the color the size you can have CSS effect on it it is pretty cool but for me I'm just I just need that uh, free version for now if you guys want me to purchase uh, the paid one and then make a video uh, leave a comment below and then I will do that but for now, you just pick the icon and then pick the size. Uh, this size is pretty good. I'll show you how it does it look like uh, once we're done. And then you can copy this. But why do it the hard way? We can just go to pages and you can go. I'm, I'm just going to go to my, my page. And then I'm, for me, I'm using the, that page builder. So let me add a row really, really quick and then I'm gonna add a widget now for me I'm just gonna add a regular editor using the site origin editor and then once you edit the page that's where you can paste uh, your uh, uh, short code or for me I'm just gonna do the add icon and then it will do the same thing I'll just pick whatever one uh, whatever icon that I want then I can pick the size and then I insert and then I'm good to go. I just hit done. And then update. Once that done, we can preview that. And this is the icon right here. Now it's 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 really not organized. That's the, that's how it looks once you get it all organized. Basically, once you do that, you just have to kind of for me, I'm using this uh, page builder so I have to edit my rows to make them look good so I go to theme and then I just basically enable the center and once I update that this will be right in the center now let me show you what I did to make that look uh, appear so basically I have two editors the first one has the icon and the second one has uh, the title that I want I might add another one for a description or might add description right here I'm not really sure but that's another look that uh, you can go with but basically I'm gonna add a link and then that will become a category for my for my page so it is a pretty cool uh, plugin uh, I just used that uh, yesterday it was the first time that I've ever used it I usually have my own icons and then I install them but why it's already there and I am going for this gray looking theme because that's the only color that you're gonna come up with like that's the only color that's available for you and it works with my theme so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it so uh, that's it for this uh, uh, plugin if you guys want me to make a video about the page builder which is the builder that I use uh, for all my websites I think it's pretty easy uh, it's not the best but it's definitely uh, one of the top uh, four or five uh, of page builders I, I just love it if you guys want me to show you how to use that uh, leave a comment and then I will do that so that's it for this uh, I hope you guys enjoy it like the video if you like it dislike it if you dislike it leave a comment below if you have a question let me know and I hope you have a good day see ya